Has anyone ever told you that you can rank both on Google and YouTube and get double the amount of search traffic? It's not always double, but it's a lot more search traffic than you're getting right now. Hey everyone, I'm Neil Patel, and today I'm gonna share with you the difference on ranking on Google and YouTube. Before I get started, make sure you subscribe to this channel. Follow, subscribe, whatever it may be. That way, when I give more marketing advice like this, you'll get notified. The first difference for you is Google SEO takes a lot longer than YouTube SEO. Did you know on YouTube SEO that if you're gonna rank, you typically rank in the first 24 to 48 hours, in which when a video does extremely well in the first day on YouTube, it does well for the life of the video. On Google, on the other hand, if you create a web page or you create a brand new website and you optimize it, you're not gonna get ranking on day one. You're lucky if you get rankings in the first three to six months. It typically takes over a year before you see results. So the big difference is YouTube, first 24 hours determines how the video is gonna do in the long run. With Google, what happens in the first year determines how it's gonna do in the long run. The second difference I have for you is authority. How many of you actually knew that both YouTube and Google look at authority? If you knew that, just leave a comment below with yes. But there's a difference. With Google, the more authoritative your site is, the more you rank for everything. YouTube is very similar, but the difference is your authority in YouTube fluctuates month over month. With Google, if you build links, you'll continually keep climbing in authority. Doesn't always mean you're gonna get more search traffic, it just means over time, year over year, you should in theory do better. With YouTube, one month you could have amazing authority and just crush it. But the next month, if you release seven videos and they're all duds and no one likes them, your authority drastically tanks and all your videos don't do as well compared to what they were performing before. So with YouTube, you have to continually fight and keep that authority and redoing everything in which you have to keep creating new amazing content, you have to keep creating amazing engagement. Without that, your authority just keeps dying. But with Google, it keeps going up as you build more links. The third difference is Google and YouTube look at two totally different factors to really determine rankings. Google looks at links. The more websites that link to your website, the better off you're gonna do. If you don't know how to build links, the first thing you wanna do is go find all the people that link to your competitors and ask them to link to you. You can use Ahrefs, they have a tool, or technically Ahrefs is a tool, but they have a feature more so within Ahrefs called Link Intersect. You can put in your top three competitors and your domain, and it'll show you all the people that link to your top three competitors that don't link to you. This is important because if you reach out to a site that only links to one of your 100 competitors, it's really hard to convince them to link to you. But if you find a site that links to three of your major competitors, you know at that point that they're open to linking to you as well. So you wanna reach out to all the people that link to your competitors. With YouTube, it's all about engagement. It's not about links. The longer the watch time, not just the watch time on your video, but all the other videos on YouTube, in which if someone watches a video from your channel and then watches some other random person's video, that helps count towards your video's score. So the more engagement you create on YouTube, the better off you are. That's why you wanna tell people to like, comment, share, just like I'm telling you. Make sure you subscribe to this channel, like the videos, comment, it all helps. And similar to number three, number four is all about engagement. Both YouTube and Google love engagement, but the engagement is different. With Google, they're looking at how many people perform a search, click over to your site, and stay and click over to other pages, versus bouncing back and clicking the back button and going to the next listing in Google. If people stay on your site, it tells Google that, hey, they may have found what they're looking for. With YouTube, engagement isn't measured by bouncing, it's measured by view time, comments, likes, even dislikes. Yes, you may not want dislikes, but it still is engagement. YouTube wants those kind of signals versus Google wants people to stick around on your website and not hit the back button. With YouTube, if someone watches your video and then they watch someone else's video and then another random person's video, it still helps you. With Google, if someone's on your website, bounces back and goes to someone else's site after, that definitely doesn't help you. And as for the last difference, well, YouTube is easy to rank for and Google is hard. In which, anytime you create content or a site, it'll take you 
three, six months, a year. And I know I'm giving you a lot of ranges with how long it takes to get results on Google, but that's because some industries are more competitive than others. But on YouTube, you can see results in the first 30 days. I kid you not, it's wide open. Especially in the English market or even outside of the United States, it really is wide open. I know there's tons of videos on YouTube, probably over a billion, but trust me, it's wide open. If you guys started leveraging YouTube right now, I bet you if you were to create a brand new website and a brand new YouTube channel, you're more likely to get more search traffic from YouTube over the next two years than you are from your own website. That's it, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you subscribe, like, share it, and of course, if you have any questions, leave a comment below. Thank you for watching.